Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we have another very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate this sum 1 plus 1 over a plus 1 over a square up to infinity. If a is 9 raised to the power log of 80 square root 5 minus 47 with base 27. Let us consider required sum is s. Now I will use one log property a power log b. It is equal to b power log a. So this property I will apply here. So I can write a equal to 80 square root 5 minus 47 power will be log 9 base will be 27. Let's evaluate log 9 base 27 separately. So log a base b I can write log a over log b. 9 can be written as 3 square 27 can be written as 3 cube log a power b b log a so 2 log 3 over 3 log 3 log 3 log 3 will be over we will get 2 over 3 so here i can write 2 over 3 so a will be equal to 80 square root 5 minus 47 with power 2 over 3 now I can write 80 square root 5 minus 47 and I can consider this power 1 over 3 and then whole power 2 using exponent property. Let me write here a power b times c equal to a power c whole power b. So I can write a will be equal to 80 square root 5 minus 47 whole power is 1 over 3 and then we will consider the complete power 2. Let us assume this curly bracket equal to b. So I can write b equal to 80 square root 5 minus 47 whole power 1 over 3. So I can write a is equal to b square. Once we will have value of b. Consider cubing both sides. I can write b cube equal to 80 square root 5 minus 47. Now I can split or factor 80 as 16 times 5. 16 times 5 and 5 I will write a square root 25. Then we have root 5. Then we have minus 47. Now club these two radicals. I can write 16 times a square root 125 minus 47. This is equal to BQ. Now I will use Simon's favorite factoring trick. So I need to multiply both sides by 8. I can write 8 times b cube equal to 8 times 16 square root 125 minus 47. So 8 can be written as 2 cube times b cube equal to 8 times 16 128 square root 125 minus 8 times 47 this is 376 using exponent property lhs will become 2b whole cube equal to now we will split 128 and 376 so 128 will be 125 plus 3 so i can write 125 is square root 125 plus 3 times square root 125. 
Now minus 376, we can write minus 375 minus 1. Let's rearrange RHS. I can write 125 square root 125, then minus 1, then minus 375, and then 3 times square root 125. This is equal to 2B whole cube. Now, can we write 125 square root 125 as square root 125 whole cube? Minus 1 we can write 1 whole cube. Minus 375. We can write 3 times square root 125 square times 1. So, square root and square will be over 3 times 125, 375 plus 3 times square root 125 times 1 square. So, this is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So, in this place we can write a minus b whole cube. So, our LHS will be 2B whole cube and RHS will be square root 125 minus 1 whole cube. Now, I will take cube root both sides for real B. So, I can write 2B equal to square root 125 minus 1. Divide both sides by 2, b equal to square root 125 minus 1 over 2. Now, 125 is 25 times 5. Again, we can write. So, this will become 5 root 5 minus 1 over 2. This is the value of b. Now, our a was b square. So, I can write 5 root 5 minus 1 over 2 whole square. Or we can write 5 root 5 minus 1 whole square over 2 square. Or we can write 5 root 5 minus 1 whole square over 4. Let us use a minus b whole square. So, I will write a equal to 5 root 5 minus 1 whole square over 4. So, 5 root 5 whole square will be 125. 1 whole square will be 1 minus 2 times 5 root 5 times 1 over 4. So, this addition will be 126 and this product will be 10 square root 5 over 4. Or we can write 63 minus 5 square root 5 over 2. This is the value of A. And root 5 is 2.23. So, A will come out A greater than 1. So, our sum expression we are having 1 over A. So, 1 over A value will be less than 1. So, series will be divergent. Addition will be divergent. I will write here A equal to 63 minus 5 root 5 over 2. So, S is equal to 1 plus 1 over A plus 1 over A square up to infinity. So, as per formula, it is first term over 1 minus common ratio. So, I will write 1 over 1 minus common ratio is 1 over A, where 1 over A less than 1. Now, if I will simplify here, I will be getting a over a minus 1. 
now this is the value of a so i can write sum s equal to 63 minus 5 square root 5 over 2 over 63 minus 5 root 5 over 2 minus 1. So I can simplify. I will be getting 63 minus 5 square root 5 over 63 minus 2. So 61 minus 5 root 5. Now we have to rationalize our denominator to collect our final answer. So let's multiply here with 61 plus 5 root 5. In the denominator and in the numerator also. So we can write here this product if I will multiply both the brackets we will get 3718 plus 10 root 5 over this denominator will give us 61 square minus 5 root 5 whole square. So it is 3726 minus 125. So this will come out 3601. So our denominator will be 3601. So our answer will become 3718 plus 10 square root 5 over 3601. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Till next video. Bye bye and take care.